Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Mickey's Halloween Treat, a Lift the Flap Fun Book. Oh boy, doesn't everyone look swell? What's Minnie dressed up as? <laughs> a witch, that's right. And Daisy is Little Bo Peep. What's Donald dressed up as? Idiot! A cowboy, that's right. Goofy's a knight. And Pluto's a bee. And I'm a magician. Ta-da! But why do you think we're all wearing costumes? Where could we be going? Look in the mailbox to see where we've been invited. To a Halloween party. It's at Pete's Trick or Treat Tower. Want to come along? It's a party at Pete's Trick or Treat Tower. It's just past Candy Corn Mountain. We need to get there before the moon is full. When the moon gets full, the gates of the tower will lock. Then we won't be able to get in. Can you tell me how full the moon is now? Is it one quarter full? Is it half full? Is it three quarters full? Lift the flap to find out. It's only one quarter full. Good job. We still have time to get there. Look, it's Toodles. Hiya, Toodles. Toodle has got our mouse tools. They will help us get to Pete's Trick or Treat Tower. You can help us too. What tools do you see? A jack-o'-lantern? You betcha. A garbage can lid. A carrot? That's right. And the mystery mouse tool. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. We're just about ready to go, but Goofy's costume needs one more thing. A shield. Which one of the mouse tools can Goofy use? Lift the flap to see. Goofy can use the garbage can lid as a shield. We've got ears. Say cheers. We made it over Candy Corn Mountain, thanks to some fancy rope work by Cowboy Donald. Thanks, partner. Look at the moon. How full is it now? It's half full. That's right. But we still have to go through the woods. And it sure is foggy. Oh, Toodles. What does Toodles have that can help us see through the fog? Is it the jack-o'-lantern, the carrot, or the mystery mouse tool? Lift the flap to see. It's the jack-o'-lantern. We've got ears. Say cheers. We've made it to Pete's trick-or-treat tower. Look at the moon. It's three quarters full now. Uh-oh. Goofy has dropped his shield. Which one of our mouse tools can help us get it back? A carrot. Nope. That means it's time for the mystery mouse tool. Can you say mystery mouse tool? To find out what the mystery mouse tool is, look under the shield. It's a magnet. We can get Goofy's shield with the magnet. We work together to get back Goofy's shield. We use the magnet and Donald's rope, and we pulled. But now, Pete says that for us to get into his party, I have to do a trick. He wants me to pull a rabbit out my hat. But I don't have a rabbit. This sounds like a job for a mouse tool. All we have left is a carrot. Do you think a carrot can help us get a rabbit to come out of my hat? Abra Cabunny! Lift my hat to see. Super cheers! It worked! I pulled a rabbit out of my hat. Now we can go to Pete's party. But Pete isn't ready yet. He didn't think anyone would come to his party, so he didn't get himself a costume. I've got an idea. We can all give Pete a piece of our costumes. How do you think that will look? Lift the flap to see. Hurry, because the moon is full now. Hey, Pete, you look great. Gee, we had a great time at Pete's Halloween party. Once you helped us get there, remember what we did? First, we used a garbage can lid for Goofy's shield. Then, we used a jack-o'-lantern to light our way through the foggy forest. Then we used a magnet to get Goofy's shield back. 
Then we used a carrot to pull a rabbit out of my hat. What a hot dog day. Happy Halloween. Let's do the Mazka dance. The end. Froggy's Halloween by Jonathan London. For Froggy, Halloween meant candy, but it also meant dressing up. And he wondered, what should I be for Halloween? I know, cried Froggy. Super Frog! Flying high over the city, faster than a dragonfly, stronger than a bullfrog. No, something spooky. I know, cried Froggy. Ghost Frog! He poked two holes in his mother's best white sheet and draped it over his head. Ooh. No, something scarier. I know, cried Froggy. Vampire Frog. <laughs> he put on his black cape. Swoosh. Pulled on his mom's black tights. Zup. Put on his slick black wig. Sat. And said, in his best Dracula voice, Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. Froggy, called his mother. What? Halloween's not till next week. You're supposed to be doing your homework, dear. I'm Count Von Frogula, said Froggy. Vampire frogs don't do homework. Froggy's mother laughed. Vampires have fangs, she said. You're a toothless wonder. Oops cried Froggy, covering his mouth. So all week at school, Froggy wondered, what should I be for Halloween? A football player? A cowboy? A zombie? Froggy, cried his teacher, Miss Witherspoon. What? Kindly keep your mind on your work, dear. But his mind was on Halloween. Every day after school, he got ready. He carved crazy pumpkins. He hung sticky spiderwebs all over the front of his house. He hung his mother's sheet like a ghost in the wind. And he practiced. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. At last, it was the night before Halloween. And all through the house, there were creaking sounds and scratching sounds. Froggy was scared. He shivered in bed and imagined ghosts and goblins and werewolves and witches. Witches? Zack. I know, cried Froggy. I'll be the frog prince for Halloween. And in the morning, he put on his black cape, zwoosh, pulled on his mom's black tights, zup, put on his slick black wig, zat, plucked on a gold crown, Zunk, and flashed his mighty sword. Ta-da! At the Halloween parade at school, all the girls thought he looked cute, especially Fragolina. And at that night, when the dark crept in, and all the ghosts and goblins crept out to trick or treat, boo! Princess Fragolina leapt out and chased after the frog prince to give him a kiss. Eek! 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 cried Froggy. He was never more scared in his life. He leapfrogged over his mother. He leapfrogged over his father. He leapfrogged over his friend Max. And flopped up Max's steps. Flop, flop, 
Splat! He tripped on the porch, and Frogalina fell on top of him. The door flew open, and uh-oh, there stood the wickedest witch in the world. <laughs> Trick or treat? Squeaked Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Luckily, Frogalina ran away, and the witch turned out to be Max's granny. And that Halloween Froggy got tons of candy, but his sword had torn a hole in his candy bag. And by the time he got home, his candy was all gone. Oh no, cried Froggy. What's the matter? asked his mother. He showed her his empty bag. Well, you're in luck, said his mother, holding up a full bowl. I guess nobody liked my treats. And what do you think she gave him? Chocolate covered flies. Yum, cried Froggy. My favorite. Munch, crunch, munch. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't miss our next Halloween story. Creepy carrots. Happy Halloween.